It's so interesting when, I guess now, because so few people are buying entire albums, it's right. sometimes easier. Yeah, I think. That, isn't it? Yeah, yeah they're, they're just cherry. Album. Yeah, and the whole album tells the full story of what you're trying to convey. Mm, mm, exactly. Well, that, I mean, it's always, I'm quite old school in my, in what I expect of an artist and what standards I have. Um, and obviously I have to uphold them myself. And it was a conversation when I first started my career. Do you want to make an album? And I was like, well, what, you know, why am I doing this unless I'm going to make an album? Of course. Right. That's, that's all I know. Um, and, you know, even when I put the album together, I've tried to make it feel relatively chronological so you can kind of, so it feels like a full piece. It feels like a full story, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Because so many people just release a single, they yeah. tore off one or two singles, and you know, and call it a day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you got a full album for us now. With the full album, Louis, uh, that means a tour is going to be hitting us. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of cities yeah. on your tour. <laughs> You're doing a big time tour, dude. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this moment for as long as I can remember in my solo career, so I'm proper excited. Yeah, proper do, you have, excited. do you have to prepare differently? Obviously, not being a part of a band, I think I would always assume that maybe if you have a tired night, you can kind of rely on some others to pick up the slack. True, but when, it's just, true, but when yep. it's just you, do you have to get in kind of a different mindset? And there's, like, no escape when it's just me. <laughs> I mean, like, it, today was a bit of an early morning, and I always say Liam was really good early morning when yeah. we are in the band, you know, <laughs> so I could just kind of blend into the background and just, you know, do my own thing, wake <laughs> up a little bit on my own terms. But I do I do find that I have to be a little bit more professional, I'm not going to lie, uh, a little bit more on the ball with stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm also lucky I've got a great fan base. I know that when I go out and do the tour, you know, um, they're, they're great people. I know they... The thing is, I have had every mishap you can imagine on stage because we did so many tour dates. I've fallen over. Uh-huh. I've had stuff thrown at me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I've done it all. So I kind of like, I'm just looking forward to it. So nothing scares you about it? No, nah, because they're, they're good people who are coming to watch me. You know what I mean? They've got me back. That's what I feel like. Do you have a lot of say-so in who's going to open up for you on this tour? Is there somebody you really want to see out there um, before well, you? We were, just, we were literally just talking about that. Um it would probably be different people for different territories, but it's important. What I'd like to do is I'd like to maybe uh, get an unsigned band on the um, on either the American tour or the UK tour, just to give them a bit of exposure and help out like that. Yeah.